Once again, we're going to talk about alcohol. And where we would typically see this is the understandable, I'm on vacation, it's time to drink, and I'm going from sea level to altitude, and I'm going to start doing shots. And that doesn't work. It doesn't work well, and it ends badly for some people, sometimes significantly badly. And once again, we talked about the temperature. You feel warm, so that's, that's okay, even in a cold environment, even though you're actually getting cold. It also, alcohol is a respiratory depressant, which, as we talked about, you're already struggling with hypoxemia. So slowing down your breathing rate is not a good idea. In fact, the body is increasing your breathing rate. Alcohol can reverse that, making you more prone to bad things from happening. And then again, alcohol is a diuretic. We also already talked about some of the impact of high altitude on the kidneys is to diurese already. So you're more likely to be dehydrated. And just a quick point, Reversing dehydration with alcohol doesn't work either. <laughs> so even though you feel like you're drinking fine, you're not. And this is just a bad decision to make early on in your altitude and or hypothermia situation. Now, I'm not saying you can't drink on vacation. I'm just saying make the right decisions and delay gratification and have that drinking binge go on after you've at least given yourself a little bit to acclimatize. Now I would suggest, my the physician part of me would suggest never binge, never drink that, that heavily, but if you're going to do it, at least wait and allow your body to acclimatize a little bit, or a lot.